The oldest surviving copy of the Quran that we have found to date, found in the dome of the Great Mosque of Sana'a, Yemen. This finding is astounding. It gives us a glimpse into Islamic history and how the Quran that we have today ended up in that form. Hi, I'm Abdullah Samir and I'm going to be discussing the Sana'a manuscripts. Gabriel Said Reynolds, a professor of Islamic studies and theology, defines the Sana'a palmum set as a rare Quranic palmum set, a manuscript preserving an original Quran text that had been erased and written over with a new Quranic text. It has so many variants that one might imagine it is a vestige of an ancient version that somehow survived Uthman's burning of all of the versions of the Quran, except his own. It's not an entire Quran, but part of it. It's been carbon dated to the 7th century, around 623 to 669 CE, which is really quite close to Muhammad's time, within 70 years of his death. This makes it one of the most significant findings today that can help us to piece the puzzle together of how the Quran ended up the way it is now. Uthman wanted all of the copies of the Quran except for his burned, i.e. destroyed. But due to modern technology using ultraviolet light, we were able to find that the Sana'a manuscript actually has an earlier version that was erased. Work on restoring this started in 1980, which was actually not that long ago. A partial reconstruction of the lower text that was erased began in 2012, which was just seven years ago. Lucky us. To think that the entire history of Islam can hang on these documents, which are sometimes kept out of the public eye, is shocking. Imagine these documents were not released. The Sana'a manuscripts are considered non-Uthmanic. That means they differ from the Uthmani Quran that we have today. In terms of the surah order, there's actual words and phrases which are different. Now ask yourself, all of these differences that we're about to show you, are these all mistakes? If they're all mistakes, why is there so many mistakes in a written down Quran? And why was it in the mosque? Is it really conceivable that this is just a really bad Quran? Or is it more likely that this is an earlier version of the Quran before Uthman standardized it and destroyed all of the other copies? I believe that this surviving text that was erased that we were able to get a hold of is actually an older copy of the Quran before Uthman was able to standardize it. When you hear the following examples that we're about to show you, ask yourself, does this sound like Quran? You have apologists such as Noman Ali Khan who will come and say, the exact words used in this Quran is so precise, they have to be from Allah. Allah used the exact word, nar but he could have used Jahannam. Why did he use Nar? You see, the Quran is so precise that the exact word that's used there, there is no better word that could have been used. Yet when you see the manuscripts and you see the older version of the Quran, it has different words there. So is the Quran really that amazing after all? Learning all of this made me feel sad. I felt sad that I was lied to, that the Quran that I was given which I thought was the exact word of God from the angel to Muhammad and was given to me, it turns out it's not even that. It's not even what Muhammad came up with, but something else. Do we know for sure that the Quran of today is the same one that Muhammad came with? No, we don't. I think there's more to this story and that academic research on Islam needs to be popularized. Watch my video, Yasir Qadi doubts in Islam for more on why I think this. Now, let us hear Abdullah Gondal present some of these differences to us. And just to show you what it is, is if you look on the left side, that's the actual uh, parchment or the one of the papers of the manuscript. Now, when you look closely, you can see that there's faded writing in the background. Uh, the unique thing about this uh, this, uh, this manuscript is that it has two layers of text. Back in the day, paper was uh, very, uh, very uh, 
a scarce resource. It's hard to come by. It was very precious. So people would do is they would uh, rub or erase the older writing and write more on top of it. Now, the Sana manuscript is exactly that. It's basically animals. And over hundreds of hundreds of years, the lower text starts coming up because of the ink they use. Uh, now, if you zoom out and you look to the right side of the screen, what with modern technology we can do is we can extract the lower text. And wow. uh, you can see that uh, they have lifted the lower text out. And once you go down the next slide, what they did was, is they take the UV light and when they shine the UV light on it, you can see it illuminate and the text becomes more legible. And that's the picture on the right, number three. Uh, with that uh, put aside, let's go into some of the variations they actually found in the lower text. So what the, the narrative that's being pushed is the upper text is the, the one Osman had written down and the lower text was some other companions codex and they just reused the paper from there. Uh, now, one of the findings, if you look on the left hand side in the table, uh, this is a paper that was written by two Muslim scholars. I think it's one's from Stanford University and one's from Harvard University and they studied the, uh, the manuscript is in the standard text of the Quran today in Surah 2 verse 196, there's a word uh, which is basically your heads. Do not shave your heads until the offering reaches its destination. When you look at the, the Sana manuscript, you see that the word is missing. It's not there. Even though it doesn't change the meaning that much, but there's one word that has gone, that has been added. There's an ayah in the Quran. And here's where it's very interesting. The ayah is It's about uh, periods and approaching women. But in, in the Sana Quran, the whole sentence structure has changed drastically. It says, So you see that the worst 222 from Surah Baqarah is drastically different as seen in the manuscript itself. And this indicates that there was definitely uh, human play uh, or humans involved in this. And you can see that even, uh, even the N word, there's extra letters added to it. The ta isn't even there. So this is a very interesting, and it's a major variant. This ayah is very interesting. So in Surah Tawbah, ayah number 74, in the current Quran, it says, Translation goes, if they turn away, Allah will punish them with the painful punishment in this world and the hereafter, and there will not be for them on earth any helper or protector. Well, when you look at the Sana manuscript, you find that many words are just not even present. The Sana manuscript is Allah fid dunya wa ma lahum fil ard. So Allah, there is no word azab and alima. There is no word of wal akhira. And these are at least three words that are missing from the original manuscript. In conclusion, the surviving parts of the oldest Quran that we have have gone through some significant changes. Why is that? Why did the Quran go through a process of change? Or is this just a bad copy? Why was the Quran being written down and being used in a mosque with different words, different phrases, different ordering of surahs, if Uthman managed to destroy all of the other versions? Would we have even known that another version used to exist and that had differing words in it? No, we wouldn't. But the fact is, due to modern technology, we were able to find a copy inside the copy that Uthman wanted destroyed. At the very least, we have a reason to doubt the official narrative. Thanks for watching. This is Abdullah Samir, signing out.